Hey guys, today I wanted to talk to you about reels. Now in my last video, I sort of spoke to you about how you can actually make a reels. In today's video, I'm going to give you a few content ideas because I know that there are so many businesses they need to get on there, but they don't know what to post. If you've been using TikTok, then you might have a better understanding of what you should be posting on reels. But today I'm going to give you a couple of content ideas so that you can get started. get into today's video I would really really like it if you did hit that subscribe button and if you like this video as well then hit the little like button and hit the notification bell so you get a notification every time I do a new video thank you so much it really means a lot to me okay now to get into today's video now if you have been on Instagram and I'm sure you all have if you especially if you've been if you are a business you would have seen reels and for a lot of people, they don't like change, they don't like new things. So I'm gonna give you some ideas of what you can do and why it's so beneficial to actually be on there. The so reels are 15 second videos. They're really, really quick to digest. And there's pretty much, there's nothing that can get you a better result in 15 seconds like a reels video, which is pretty good. It's 15 seconds, they can go viral and you can get more business, brand awareness, grow your page, get new clients. I did a Reels the other day and it was about why you should hire an Instagram coach. And then at the end, I said, DM me if you are interested. And I had people DM me because they were interested. So it really does work, especially if you are already creating that sort of content on Instagram in your just photos or videos or IGTV, we can repurpose that same content and turn it into a Reels video. For example, I'm sure if you are a business or a personal brand, you would have done a post around your business and who you are and what you offer. So you can turn that into a Reels video. You can do a little intro, like introduce yourself, introduce your business, maybe introduce your product or service so that the, your audience have an understanding of who you are. Now you might be thinking, my audience know who I am, but you always get new followers. People don't listen. People might miss what you say on stories. They don't always read every single post. So it's really good to reintroduce yourself every few months because your page will be growing. You're attracting new people all the time. So that's a really, really valuable one. Now, another topic you can talk about is really talking about why somebody needs your product or service. So you can say why you need and then insert whatever product or service it is. And then you might want to speak about some of the pain points that you're addressing exactly why somebody would actually need whatever product or service you have. Something that I really, really like to do is a tutorial. So I might do a screen recording. I might show you guys a, a hack, an Instagram hack or how to do something. For example, the other day I just recorded how to add a voiceover to your Reels video and I posted it on Reels. And it just try to think, what can you show in 15 seconds that people want to know how to do? Another example is I showed how you can add text to your Reels video, to your stories without actually having to type it out. So you hit the microphone button and you get Siri to actually dictate what it is that you want to say. And it's something that I do every single day. It's something that I mentioned on my stories over a year ago and I have it saved to my highlights, but I did a quick reels on it and it did really, really well. So that's another good idea. Go have a look through your highlights and see what you have saved there. Do you have any how to's? Do you have any tips? Do you have anything educational, anything of value that you can repurpose into a Reels video. Maybe you have a mailing list with newsletters that you send out every week. You might wanna have a look and see what kind of content you have already created and repurpose that content. I'm all about repurposing so you don't have to work twice as hard. I feel like that's a really, really good place to start as well. Something else you can do is bust a myth in your industry. So um, the other day I did one that was 
to the song Nope Yep and it was saying pretty much what you shouldn't do on Instagram and what you should do on Instagram. So you can apply that to pretty much every single industry and that one, that's also quite entertaining. So with the reels, they are really entertaining videos because they're 15 seconds, they're quick, they're short, sharp and shiny. You can add music to it, you can use external apps to make them a little bit more entertaining as well. And you have to remember that because it's a new feature on Instagram, Instagram is favoring those people who are using their new feature. So if you are using Reels, you're more likely also to show up on the Explore page because Instagram is saying, hey, this person is using our new feature. We are loving that. We're going to reward those people. So the more you do it, the more chances you will get shown on the Explore page. Something else you could do is you could share something that you have learned so that you can educate your audience as well. You, you still want all of your Reels content to fall into three categories. That is value, connection, and promotion. And that's something that I've talked about in another video that I can link just here for you as well. If you get lots of frequently asked questions, this is a really good opportunity for you to sit down and do a quick Reels. You might wanna answer one question and then say, if you have more, send me a DM and then you can create another Reels as well. So the content is pretty much much endless you just need to plan it out if you are afraid you just need to give it a go you need to try it you need to just trial and error if I'm sure if you look back at my first YouTube video on here it's not amazing in like the editing was amazing thank you Bart <laughs> but me I was scared I'm not confident and that's the same with every time you try something new so with reels you just need to give it a go and the more practice, the more you try it, the more you do it, the better you'll get. So that is my tip. Just give it a go. Rip it and rip it. Another idea is you can give your audience ideas for whatever it is in your industry. So for me, I'll give you ideas for captions or I'll give you ideas how you can edit your stories or create your stories on Instagram. So you can relate that back to every single industry as well. I think it's great if you are a product or service-based business, you should really be utilizing Reels. So this week, I really want, I really want to challenge you guys to create a Reels, get on there, use one of those ideas and create something. If you do, please tag me because I would absolutely love to see what you create. Like I said, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions about Reels, then comment below and I will create another YouTube video for you all. But I'll see you in my next video. Bye.